what are some of the biggest mistakes that you see lawyers make during the early years of running their practice, which are kind of likely to keep them from growing and, and are the unsustainable things that we're talking about? Yeah. So, I mean, I love the, the, the question about mistakes because I kind of, um, I mastered in making mistakes <laughs> when I first started my law firm. Same. So I, I made all of the biggies. So the first one is when I got to the point of saturation, I couldn't fit any more into my schedule. I didn't hire. Uh, that was the first very critical mistake. People never feel like they can afford to hire. I mean, and I never felt like I could afford to hire, even though I had plenty of money in the bank relative to the average law firm owner that started. I already had a statewide reputation when I went out into business on my own. And still there was the, <clears throat> oh my God, making payroll. What if I, what if I don't have enough? What if it doesn't come in? And I didn't hire. Um, so I just worked harder and harder and harder. And at some point there is a law of diminishing returns that we lawyers, we, we believe that we're superhuman and we'll just figure it out. And, and it never gets there. The second thing is that I didn't raise my prices soon enough. I've never quite understood how I missed this very easy seminal point, but it took the second business coach that I work with to say, hey, wait a minute, if you have too much work and you're not going to go hire someone, raise your prices, right? You're going to glut yourself out of the, the market for the people who are the lower hanging fruit, but the people who are willing to pay $350 an hour are willing to pay $400 an hour, are willing to pay $450 an hour, and it's all in how you package it. So I started raising my prices, and then I brought in more money while working fewer hours, and that gave me back some semblance of ability to manage it all. Third major mistake is I didn't really focus on a growth plan. I, I just kind of thought, I just need to make a little bit more, right? And more is not an attainable goal, right? Because as soon as you hit more, there's also typically an expense that is going to go with that more. So you don't usually net 100% of extra dollars, there's an expense. And if you're thinking about the expense and not the income, which is what most people focus on when they start in business, you're not going to be able to scale to the point where it's worth your while. So at some point you say, I don't wanna work more hours for dollars, I'm just going to be fine where I am. And that mindset is very reductionist because as you hire people, like even the time that we're in right now, we're dealing with massive inflation. Like people need to be able to support themselves. And if you start gutting wages or you start undercompensating people while you are growing for yourself, you're going to create resentment in your company. You're going to create turnover. And frankly, you're going to have people that are resentful to be at the workplace, which is not what you want either. So I very much had to learn how I had to keep growing, which is the reason why my motto is never stop growing. It isn't just so that you can make as much money as possible. It's so that you can create for others while you're creating for yourself. And that's what ultimately fuels the growth and the health of the company.